Okay, this place is our starting point today. Jesus Christ is Lord. We are, as usual, going to the streets, to the market, to preach the goodness of God. And today, we're going to talk about God faithfulness. We will talk about God faithfulness because the people need to know that God is faithful and there is no other one to trust and to rely on except in God. So we're going to go and tell them, trust God, depend on God, rely on God. God is faithful. And we take, we're going to take this message to everybody, to hundreds and thousands of people in the market. My joy of preaching in the market, even though there's a lot of difficulties and a lot of challenges, is because you have got opportunity to speak to hundreds and thousands of people. They hear about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Our God is a good God. We are evangelists, and then we preach the good news of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. God bless you. Let's go together. Our God is faithful, everybody. God is a faithful God. He is a wonderful God. He is faithful and He is just. And He is kind. And He is wonderful. He is a wonderful, faithful, and just God. Faithful God, so unchanging. Our God is unchanging God. And He is a faithful God. He is a wonderful God. He is faithful. He is wonderful. He is glorious. He is excellent. There is no one like unto the name of our God. He promised. And He fulfilled His promises. Brother, God bless you. Thank you. God promised it, and He fulfilled His promises. Whenever He promised, He fulfilled. Whatever He said, He do. Sister, can I give you a little? Bit? Yes, okay. Jesus love you. Okay. Our God is good. God promised, and God fulfilled His promises. Whatever He say, that He will do, because He have got a power. He's got authority to say and to do. He say and he do. Whatever God say, he do it. Our God is faithful. He creates, he makes. He creates things and he made things. And he keep things. And he keep to his word. One of the things that God keep is his word. The word of God cannot fail. The Bible says it is easy for heaven and earth to pass away. But the word of God, a judge of the word of God can never ever pass away. A judge of God's word can never ever pass away. Jesus love you. God bless you, sister. Amen. Amen. Our God is great. Our God is faithful. So the word of God is always wonderful and always the same. Jesus Christ is a promise-keeping God. When he promised, he keep it. That's your faithfulness to God. Faithfulness to God. And the Bible says that upon all these promises, none of them has fell. None has fell. In all the promises of our Lord and our Savior, none have fell. The promises of God never fail. His promises is yes and amen. He stick to his word. He stick to his promises. He cannot deny himself. He is faithful and he is just. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is a great God. And he is greatly to be praised, greatly to be worshipped. Greatly to be exalted. He is God. He can do all things. He made us. He created us. And He can make us again. The Word of God says, If my people do not praise me, I will command a stone to praise me. That means He created us. And He can as well create us again. If He wish. And that is why 
He cannot change. He owns everything. Everything you know of. Silver, gold, diamond, jewelries, whatever you name it, is of the Lord. Human being that he created in his own image and likeness, the heaven and the earth, the firmament, the stars, the moon, the angels, everything that God created. He know it. He own it. It is his own. The earth and the fullness thereof is of the Lord. The earth and its fullness is of the Lord. He owned them. He owned the earth. He owned the fullness. And that's why he says, if I am hungry, there are many, many wild animals. There are many, many big and great animals. But I'm not hungry. I'm not a hungry God. It's a God that is full of everything. He created everything. He made everything. He's a great God. He's the maker. Our Lord and our Savior is the maker. The maker of heaven and earth. The creator. Ajinadim. Where is mother? How is mother and doing? Madam? She's coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. God bless you. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. That is not like unto God. The name of our God is strong and a strong tower. Jesus Christ is Lord. He lives and he reigns. So he does everything. That is nothing that is too hard for him. The Bible said that God is the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for him? There is nothing that is too difficult for God. Everything about God is very possible. Jesus loves you. God bless you, sister. Thank you. Every, hello, sister. How are you doing? Jesus loves you. Thank you. Everything is possible with God. Everything about God. God is a God of possibilities. Everything is possible, okay? Whatever you need, whatever you want, it is possible with him because he is faithful. Once he promised, he keep to his promise. God keep to the promises he made. From the promises he made to Noah, to the promises he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to the promises he made to the children of Israel to set them free, they were all set free from the hardship of the ruler, of the rule of Herod, of the rule of the Egyptians. They were all set free from the hardship of the rule of Pharaoh. You know, Jesus loved you, okay? <clears throat> Who can be able to deliver from Pharaoh's hand if not God? No one can be able to deliver from Pharaoh's hand. No one without a weapon and horses and chariots can be able to deliver from Pharaoh's hand if not God. The children of Israel left the land of Egypt without any weapon, without any horses, without any chariots. But they were, they were delivered. The Egyptians were defeated because he's God. He doesn't need any... God do not need any weapon to fight. He just needs his word. Need his bread. The bread of God does the job. He speaks and it is done. Our God is a good God. The bread of God does the job. So he's a great God. He made us in his power, in his image and likeness. And he loved us with everlasting love. He cared for us, he died for our sins. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's faithful, brother. Jesus loves you. Our God is faithful and faithful to the end. He never fell. He never changes. He never disappoints anyone. He's always there to help us. The Lord is my heart. Whatever age he still help us. He's still blessing us. He's still giving us everything. He gives us everything to enjoy. He's a good God. He's a wonderful and a faithful and a righteous God. He gave us everything. He gave us every day. That's what Jesus Christ said. We should pray. Give us this day. Ah, oh, daily bread. Hello, my sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> God is faithful. God is faithful. How are you doing? Amen. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's it. He's gone. He's gone. He's in the heaven. He's in heaven. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Great is God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Great is the faithfulness of God. Hey. Hello. Jesus love you. God bless you. You know what we do? I like that. Stay blessed. Stay blessed you too. Huh? Jesus love you. Oh, well, God bless you, man. We God know that we show the love. Huh? Yes. Jesus care for you, okay? Oh, God is good. Oh. <laughs> Where's Haji Salaman? Haji Salaman. Haji Salaman. Haji Salaman. Aha. <laughs> uh, holidays. Yeah, yeah. Okay. God is good. Let him go and enjoy himself. Whatever. Let him go. Yeah. Let him go and enjoy himself. God is a good God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Who that? Uh, no, no. What are you gonna say? The gospel of Christ. What do you wanna tell people? Okay. I wanna tell you today the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. From 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Jesus Christ, he died for our sins. He was dead and he buried. And then he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe and believe and be saved today. Amen. Amen. That's very important. Why you live like that? No, live it, live it, live it. Thank you, Tom. Okay, are you done? Yeah. You want to say any more? Thank you very much. God bless you. Jesus Christ died for our sins. Died to set us free. God bless you. Our God is an awesome God. Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. He died for us. Jesus Christ died for our sins. So today we are talking about the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God. God is faithful. God is kind. God is excellent. There is no one like unto the name of our God. He is good. Jesus love you. There is none to be compared with the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died for our sins, to set us free, and He is faithful. He is absolutely very, very faithful to the end. Jesus Christ is great and he is faithful. Faithful to the end, his name is great, strong tower. His name is a strong tower and the righteous run into that name of Jesus Christ and the righteous is saved. And he is remained faithful, he cannot deny himself. The Bible says that God cannot deny himself. He remained the faithful God. We can fail, we can deny ourselves, but God cannot deny himself because he remained faithful. Jesus love you. Our God is a good God. He remained faithful. He cannot deny himself. He is a wonderful God. He's a God that never fails. He's a God that never changes. 
It's a God that never disappoints us. Jesus love you, sister. Our God is faithful. God is a faithful God. Faithful is the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died for our sins. Promise. He promised to come. God promised to send his son to save us. And God came to his word. God came to his promises. He's a faithful God. He's a wonderful God. He's a mighty God. He's a great God. He's a God of all righteousness. We love us so much, brother Jesus, care for you. There is no one to be compared with him. When the Lord promises you, you keep to his promise. He's coming tomorrow. God keep to his promise. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ love you. God keep to his promises. Jesus care for you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Be care for us. God bless you. Thank you. Jesus Christ care for us. He promised to care for us. And that he's caring for us. He's a great God. He's a faithful God. There is no other name that is faithful than his name. The name of Jesus Christ is faithful. The name of Christ is faithful. Jesus love you. Jesus is faithful, okay? We love you so much. He's a faithful God. He's a God that is not changing. He's an unchangeable God. He cannot fail. He never fail nobody. Whatever he say, that is what he do. Whatever God says, he do what he says. What he says is what he will do. He promise and he keep to his promises. Our God is faithful and he is just. So today, it's all about the faithfulness of God. God faithfulness. God faithfulness. He is faithful and he is just. And that's why he made us. He care for us. God bless you, sir. How are you doing? Aji Nadim is there. Aji Solomon. Big Solomon is there. God is a good God. Tell everybody, Jesus loves you. Great is that faithfulness of God. The loving kindness of God is from everlasting to everlasting. He never fell. Great is the faithfulness of God. The Lord is great. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is great. The Lord is wonderful. His name is highly lifted up. Above every other name. And then he loves us so much, brother. Do you know that God loves you? And then he is faithful. He's faithful, okay? God is faithful to those that love his name. He never forsake us. He never abandon us. Even when we are, when we are without God, He still be, He still our God. When we are without believing, He still provide for us because He provide for His people. He give us things. He give us attention. He made the rain to fall, to go the just and the unjust. He made the sun to shine, to go the just and the unjust. So He created us. He made us. He's faithful to every one of us. It is you and me that is not faithful. It is you and me that fails. But God never fails. God never fails. Never, never fails. It's always steady. It's always reliable. It's dependable. God is reliable. God is dependable. Our God is reliable. He's dependable God. He's a faithful God. He's a good God. He's a wonderful God. He promised and he fulfilled his promise. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, God promised and God fulfilled his promises to us. The promise of God is yes and amen. Every promise of God is fulfilled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the coming King, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the King of Blood, He is God. So every promise of God is yes and amen. It's yes, yes. In Christ. That's why Christ Jesus is faithful and he's wonderful. And he's our help in the ages past. He promised to help us. And he is really, really our help. The Lord is my heart. He's our help in the ages past. He loves us. He cares. He 
is a great and a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto his name. His name is great. His name is a strong tower. The righteous, they are running to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the righteous is saved. Hello, young people. Do you know that Jesus Christ cares? He loves you. Jesus loves you, okay? Remember, one day you're going to face the judgment of God. Remember. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful and just. Jesus Christ is Lord. This is the faithfulness of a young man. Jesus loves you. Our God is faithful. Our God is great. God bless you, brother. Jesus Christ loves you. And He cares for us. And He is a great God. And great is His faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. He is a faithful God. He is wonderful. He's awesome God. He's great God. The promise and the victory. Young man, Jesus is faithful, okay? God bless you. Whatever, whatever he said you do, he created us in us. And whatever he promises, he can do it for us. God bless you, okay? Thank you. Our God is a good God. He is faithful and he is just. He is kind. What a good God we serve. Faithful God, so unchanging. Faithful God. Jesus love you, brother. Jesus love you. Thank you. So unchanging. Ageless world. You are my rock of peace, God of us. I depend on you. Hey, hello everybody. Hello all the agents. Jesus love every one of you. Our God is a good. I call out to you, God, again and again. I call out to you, again and again. God is a faithful God, everybody. Amen. 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 Jesus love you so much. Amen. You are my rock. In times of trouble, God is our rock. He stands, he stands firm. He's the rock of ages. He can never fail. He can never change. He can never disappoint. He is glorious. He is the ever mighty God. He's the mighty, mighty God. He's a God that never fell. His name is Jesus. Jesus. He is God. He is the Savior. He is the Redeemer. He is the Comforter. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Mighty Redeemer. Glory be to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who is faithful. God is faithful to you. Are you faithful to God? God is faithful to every one of us. And I'm asking you today and I say to you, are you faithful to God? Are you really, really faithful? Because God is really, really faithful to us. And he loves us so much, he cares for us. He died for our sins to save us, to set us free. He's a faithful God. He's a wonderful God. He's a God that never failed his people. He's great, and he's greatly to be praised. He's faithful. That's why he keeps to his word. God keeps to his word. His word is yes. And his word is amen. You understand? He gives us every day. He blesses us. He gives us the sunshine, the light every day. You understand that God gives you the light? Every, every morning you see the day is broken. Yeah, the day breaks every morning. There has never been a morning that day did not break. Morning breaks, then the light comes. You've never seen a day that the darkness covered the whole day and night. No. Once it is morning, his faithfulness breaks. His love breaks. His love comes. Once it's morning, everywhere, in every nation, every country, since the beginning of the creation, that say, let there be light. There was light. So every morning, there was light. The light breaks up. The morning breaks up. Never stop. Never stop. 
the stars, the moon, the sun that rolled by the day and the moon that rolled by the night still stand, never fell, never fell. Everything that he created, everything that he formed still remain as they are. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is great and he is faithful to the end. He stationed the sun and the moon. He made the moon to rule the night and the sun to rule the day. And it was so up to today from the creation of the world. He made the stars to lighten up the firmament. And the stars still lighten every, every one of us up. Even while it's dark. Darkness, God knows every one of us. If there's no darkness with God, because the stars are there to lighten up the night. Our God is a good God. And then we have the, the moon. Also, that is not there, that is lighting up everybody. Jesus Christ is Lord. So, that is not night with God. But for us, God made us to rest in the night. But for God, that is not night with God because God is faithful. That is no one single night with Him. The Bible says that even the, the darkness is light to Him. Because that is not that. If you look up to the sky, even in the, in the, the thick, forest and in the thick pitch darkness you see the stars you see the moon that's what covered the night so god see it god know it you cannot hide it from god god's faithfulness is there from the foundation of the earth his faithfulness never ends his faithfulness never disappoint us his faithfulness is always and always and always there when you look at the sun, look at the stars, when you look at the day breaking every morning, when you look at the firmament, look at all the works of the hand of God, you understand that God is faithful. You understand that God is great. Hello, sister. Jesus loves you. Amen. God bless you. God is faithful to the end. When you look at the things that God has made, you will know that He is faithful. And you know that He loves us. And that is why he gave us the night to rest. But there is no night with God. There is no night with God. Not even one single night. God do not have any night. There's no darkness with God. With God is light. Everything is light. Jesus Christ is Lord. And that is why he made the stars to rule, to lighten up the firmament, to lighten up the whole earth. And he made the rule, the lesser, the lesser light to rule, and to guide the darkness so that none of us go missing from his presence. We are all there in the presence of God. None of us go missing. Hello, young people. Jesus loves you. God is a good God, okay? So none of us go missing in his presence because he promises to keep us, to keep us from falling. God gave us a promise. Say, I will keep you from falling. So the promise of God is yeah, yeah. Wonderful is the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He keep us from everything. He keep us from falling. So you will never fall. When you are walking with God, you will never ever fall. God bless you. You will never ever fall when you are walking with God. When you are with God, brother, you stand Okay, you will never fall. He never lets you down. God never lets nobody down. God is faithful and God is just. And God is kind and God is wonderful. So he never lets anybody down. He's there always shining, shining in his light during the day and the night in the Yapon room. The Holy Spirit is there to lighten up the sky, to lighten up the darkness. That is not darkness with God. God bless you. With God, that is not darkness. That is not darkness at all with God. Jesus Christ is Lord, my friend. You understand that Jesus loves you. And Jesus Christ is God. Because he is God. The Bible says there are seven stars that is guiding the seven days. Day and night. The stars of God is guiding. Is the eye of the Lord. And there are seven stars of God. Guiding the seven days that God has made. So, so there is no darkness with God. But the seven stars of God is guiding the seven days. And the seven nights God has made. Nobody can hide away from God. Nobody can cease to exist in the presence of God. God sees you. God understands you. 
God knows you. He's a great God. He's forever faithful. God is forever faithful. God is forever just. God is forever holy. God is forever wonderful. Forever. He is a great God. Forever he is faithful. Forever he is a just God. Our God is faithful. There is no one like unto his name. He is wonderful. He is glorious. He is gracious. He is excellent. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. At the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows. So God is faithful and he is a just God. So every one of us today, I want us to know that the God that has made us, that created us, is faithful. And he is just. And he is kind. And he is wonderful. He's a wonderful God. He's a faithful and a just God. He's a righteous God. He's a God that can never fail us. He's a God that can never disappoint us. He's a God that remains faithful. Hello, young man. You know Jesus loves you? He does. He does love you, brother. He really, really loves you. Our God is faithful and a just God. He's a wonderful God. Jesus is Lord, everybody. You know that Jesus Christ is Lord, everybody? You know that Jesus Christ died for our sins? Great is that faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of God. Jesus Christ loves us with that everlasting love. He cared for us. He died to set us free. And great is his faithfulness. And great is his loving kindness. What is the name of God? He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. Okay, Jesus love you, young man. Jesus Christ died for us. And he died for our sins. He died to set us free. He died to give us freedom. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's faithful. Jesus love you. He is faithful, okay? The name of God is a strong tower. That's why he is faithful. You say, rock, the rock of age is clear for me. You must hide yourself indeed. In God is your hiding place. God is your hiding place. Because whenever you hide in God, then nothing will destroy you. Because God is our hiding place. We hide in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is faithful to protect us. He will not leave us. He will not abandon us. He is faithful. He is faithful to protect you. He is faithful to protect me. He is faithful to bless us. He is faithful to keep his word. The Bible says it is easy for heaven and earth to pass away. A jot of that word of God will never ever pass away. A little jot of the word of God cannot pass away. The word of God remains forever the same. The word of God is great. Gracious, faithful, kind. You now the word of God is very, very kind to us young people. Do you know Jesus Lord? Yeah, you, yes, you know. He's a great God. He is faithful. Jesus Christ is God. He is a faithful God. He's a mighty God. He's a redeemer. He's a comforter. He's the prince of peace. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Alpha and Omega. You know, young people, do you know Jesus Christ died for your sins? And Jesus Christ is faithful, okay? He's faithful to the end. He loves us. He cares for us. God is no one to be compared with him. His name is highly lifted up. He created us. He made us good for us. He's a good God. He loves us and he is faithful. God is faithful to, the, to you. He's always faithful. It is us that the man is unfaithful, but God is faithful. God bless you, sister. God is faithful and faithful to the end. God is a loving God. He's a caring God. Whatever you say, He does. He says things and we do it. He never fell. His word never fell us. His word is faithful. His word is just. His word is kind. His word is wonderful. His word is excellent. It is you that fails, but God never fails. God never fails nobody. He remains faithful, brother. 
I can assure you, for us, God never failed it. He remained faithful. Okay. Jesus Christ loves you so much, for us. He remained faithful. He's a loving God. He loves us. He cares for us. He gives us every day. He blesses us. He blesses us. He gives us every day. He us every day. Our God is faithful. Our God is wonderful. He loves us. And he remains whatever he says he do. Amen. He tells us. It is good that we know that God says whatever he says. Whatever he says, he do. Okay? And he loves us so much. Whatever he tells you is what he will do. He cannot change because he cannot deny himself. He's a great God. He's wonderful. He's glorious. And he's gracious. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever. He's our God. He's our God that never fail us. Hello, everybody. Young ones, you know Jesus love you. Yes? Our God is good. Our God is faithful. Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of Jesus. He's wonderful God. He's a great God. His name is highly lifted up. Jesus Christ is God, everybody. Jesus Christ is God. And he is faithful. He is God, young man. And he is faithful. Jesus Christ is God. He is a faithful God. He is a wonderful God. Because he came to his word. He said he's going to save us. And he came. And he saved us. It is left for you to get your own salvation today. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. Hello, God bless you. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. Faithfulness is God. He is faithful, he is just. Hi my friend, are you okay? God bless you. Great is that faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Great is thy faithfulness. Hello, young people. Jesus love you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. God is great. And God is very, very faithful. We want everybody to know today that God is faithful. Mamma Mia! How are you doing? Great. God is good. He made heaven and earth, okay? His name is God. His name is Jesus. That is known like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He made us. And there is no other name that is faithful except the name of Jesus Christ. There is no other name that is faithful except the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ is faithful. Our God is faithful. Hello, young people. How are you doing? Hey, every one of you, can we talk about God? Can we talk about God, everybody? Jesus Christ loves us. Hello, young people. Can we talk about God, Jesus Christ? He loves us so much, okay? Jesus Christ loves you. He cares for us. Hey, listen, we're doing this all. Oh, Our God is faithful. Oh, Great is the faithfulness of God. Jesus Christ, live and reign forever and ever. Amen, brother. God bless you. Great is that faithfulness of God. He loves us so much. He loves the young people. He loves everybody. He cares for us. And He is faithful to everybody, to both the young and the old. God is faithful. Faithful and faithful to the end. God is faithful. He can never fail. Whatever you say, you do. He set the heaven and earth for us. And then he gave us everything to enjoy. He never take it away from us. God never give us and take it from us. Whatever God gives to us, he leave it for us. He give us life, he lives the life with us. Yeah, he give us the day, he leave the day for us. He give us the stars, he leave the stars for us. He give us the moon, he leave the moon for us. He give us the rain, he leave the rain for us. 
He gave us the sunshine, he lived the sunshine for us. Everything he gave to us, he lived it for us. Even though we are not faithful, God is still faithful. Even though we deny him, but God cannot deny himself. God is a wonderful God. God is a faithful and a just God. God is no one like unto him. God's name is silent in the dark. Above every other name. Jesus loved the young man. Our God is faithful. He remained forever the same. He cannot fail us. He never fell before. He never changes. He is a great God. Hello, young people. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus died for your sins. And Jesus Christ is faithful, okay? He's faithful. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus Christ is faithful. Faithful to the end. He is wonderful. Jesus Christ loves you. Lord of us. Be careful of he is faithful. He is a faithful and a just God. He is a wonderful God. He is unchanging God. God is wonderful God. There is none to be compared with the name of God. Faithfulness is God. Wonderful is God. Righteous is God. He remains committed to his promises. God remains committed to his promises, to his words. The word of God remains yes and amen. God uphold his word. God uphold his word. And word of God is steadfast. That's why the Bible says the steadfastness of God never ceases. And his mercies never come to an end. So the word of God is steadfast. God uphold his word. And his word is steadfast. He never fell. He never change, and he never disappoints us. His word reaches to the heaven and earth. His word never fell, never fell us. Every other man can fail. Every other prophet can fail, but God never fell. Jesus Christ is Lord, and He loves you so much. He cares for you. And you repent from your sins, brother. And you repent from your sins. Have you repented from your sins? That's the most important thing. Have you repented from your sins? You know, have you repented from your sins? You're still committing sin, you know. If you die, you go to hell. If you don't repent, you die, you go to hell, okay? Our God is a faithful and a just God. Jesus Christ is wonderful and He is great. Why are you smoking? Tell Him, preach to Him. Preach to Him to repent. Preach to him to repent. Preach to him to repent. Today is the day of salvation. That's why we are here today. To get the people out of all these evil practices. That's why we are on the streets. To tell the people that smoking, whether weed or cigarette or drunkenness, is sin. It's not good. We're going to repent from our sins. We're going to repent from our sins. That's the most important thing. And trust the faithfulness of God. Because God holds His promises. He upholds His word. He upholds His promises. His promises is yes and amen. And His promises never fail. His promises is great. His promises is wonderful. Jesus Christ is great. And He is a great God. And He is a faithful and a just God. That can never ever fail. Never fell anyone for once. Never fell for once. Never fell nobody. God never fell nobody. He needs help. He needs help. He needs help. And, and you too, you need help. Me, me, you need help. Everyone, everyone of us, we need God's help, okay? If you think you don't need help, you are the one that needs help more, more, more. I'm telling you now, Jesus Christ loves you. You need help, yes? You need help. You need help, yeah? Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is kind. He is wonderful. He is excellent. Our help is in the name of the Lord. God bless you, Mom. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Your help, my help, is in God's name. Our help is in His name. And He made the heaven and earth. He is a great God. He gives us every day. He made the heaven and earth. God is a great God. 
is a faithful God. You are pulled to his words. You are pulled to his promises. Once he promised, he do it. Once he said, he do what he says he will do. That's what is called faithfulness to God. And it does not really matter what we think about God. God is still faithful to his, to his word. There are many people that can deny the day. They can deny the sunshine. There are many people that can deny the rain and deny even the moon and the stars. Even though they can see the moon and the stars, they can deny it. But God is faithful. God is wonderful. You cannot deny God. Even if you deny God, God is very faithful. God, I tell you now. No matter whoever you are, even if you deny God, God is faithful. God is just. Okay, God bless you. So you can deny whatever you want to deny. God bless you. But the word of God stands firm. The Bible says that the foundation of the word of God stands firm. There is this year that the Lord has not his own faithful. And let as many as name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. The foundation of the word of God, the foundation of God stands firm, unshakable. And it says it has got a name written on it. Every other, every name that serve God is written on that foundation of God. God said the foundation of, the, of our God remained firm, having this seal that the Lord hath known his own people. God knows those that are his. God knows those that are serving him. So does it really matter what you think? What matters is what will happen to you. If you, re if you reject Christ, God bless you, sir. Thank you. If you reject Christ, you find yourself in a terrible place, yeah? There's a place that's called hell. Hell is in existence. There is hell. Hell is there. So do not deceive yourself. Don't let the devil deceive you that there is no hell. There is hell with everybody and there is hell. I can assure you there is heaven and hell, sister. If you do good things, you go to heaven. If you do bad things, you go to hell. That's the truth. So do not let the devil deceive you and tell you, oh, there is no hell. Because there is hell. If you do anything good, you go to a good place. If you do bad, then you go to a bad place. The good and bad is always separate. There's no way good and bad stay together. They're always separate. Okay? So Jesus Christ loves us so much. Jesus Christ wants us to be good and trust in the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Because he uphold his word. He's a great God. He's a faithful and a just God. Jesus Christ live and reign, my young man. Jesus Christ love you. Amen. God bless you. And great is that faithfulness of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He promised to come and then he came. He promised to save us and then he saved us. He promised to set us free and he set us free. He promised to give us freedom and he gave us freedom. We are free. God said, if Jesus Christ set you free, you are free indeed. Free from smoking. Smoking is not good, young man. Smoking is good, it's not good at all. Jesus Christ loves us. Our Lord is great. Wonderful is the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary. So Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever. You know that Jesus loves you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Our God is great. Our God is wonderful. How great is the faithfulness of God. How great is the loving kindness of God. How great is the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How great is your name. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all we see. How great, how great is our God. You are name above all names. God, you are worthy of our praise. And all we see, how great is our God. God bless you, Mom. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great, how great is our God. And all we see, how great, how great is our God. You are name above all names. God, you are worthy of our praises. And all we see, how great is our God. 
How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all we see. How great. How great is our God. You are name above all names. God, you are worthy of our prayers. And all we see, how great is our God. Hello, young people. Do you want to sing with me? How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all we see, how great, how great is our God. You are name above all names. God, you are worthy of our praise, and all we see, our praise, is our God. God, your name above our name. God, you are worthy of our praise, and all we see, how great. Is our God how great, how great, how great is our God? Sing with me, how great, how great is our God? And all we see, how great, how great is our God? You are name above all names. God, you are worthy of our prayer. And all we see, how great is our God. God is a name above every other name. He is worthy of our praise. And all we see is how great is that. Why is God great? Because God is faithful. That's why he's great. Because God is faithful. And that is why God is great. Because he cannot fail us. He cannot disappoint us. He never fails. He never disappoints us. He is faithful to the end. And he is the great I am. He say, I am who I am, I cannot fail. I am who I am, I remain faithful. I am who I am, I am God. I cannot fail. Because I can do all things, I create all things, I make all things. Our God is great God, He's wonderful God. The sun and the moon and the stars, they rule by the day and the night. For millions of years, it still remains the same. Because God cannot fail. For billions of years, God still remains the same. Because God cannot fail. He still remains the same. Still give life to us. Our God is great. He still give life to the whole world. The stars, the moon, the sun. The stars, the moon, and the sun still give life. We must see because God cannot fail. God is faithful God. He said, great God. So whatever he say he do, and nobody can stop God. No power can stop God. No authority can stop God. No name can stop God. But the name of God is higher than every other name. But the name of God is great and greater than every other name, than you, than me, than Every one of us put together, the name of God is greater than every name. That is name not only in this life, but also in the life that is to come. The name of Christ is a strong name, greater, bigger. He's bigger than every problem, Lord. He's bigger than anything, that's why he's bigger. My God, you are bigger than every problem I can or cannot see. You're bigger than every worry, Lord. 
You be God on anything. You be God on every problem. I cannot, cannot see. He's be God on every name. God, you be God on anything. God, you be God on every problem, Lord. I cannot, cannot see. You be God on every nation. You be God on all the world. God is bigger than every problem I cannot, cannot see. He's bigger. God is bigger. God is bigger than anything. God, you are bigger than every problem I cannot, cannot see. God, you are bigger than every nation's Lord. You are bigger than anything. God, you are bigger than every nation. I cannot, cannot see. He's bigger. Because he is faithful. God is faithful. God is big. And God is bigger. God is faithful. God is big. And God is bigger. There is no one like unto God. <coughs> no one to be compared with the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. His name is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it. Therefore, be at peace once you have Christ in you. Once you have God in you, be at peace because He cannot fail you. He remained faithful. Our message today is the faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of the Word of God to the whole world. The faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of whom he is from the beginning of the creation up to today. God is faithful. Everything still functional with God. Everything still functional with God. The stars still functional with God. The moon still functional with God. The firmament still functional with, functional with God. The sun still functional with God, never sees. Never see, they never see. They never see giving us light. They never see giving us the energy we needed. They never see giving us the vitamins that we needed. The sun gave you vitamins. Do you understand that? Give you energy. The sun gave you energy. Yeah? Jesus loves you. That's why in the day you have power, you have strength. But in the night, you just want to sleep. A little bit. Jesus Christ loves us. It's a great God. He's a giver of life. He's a giver of everything. He cares for us. Jesus is his name. His name is a strong tower. And the righteous run into the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the righteous is saved. I have a good news. And the good news today is that Jesus Christ is faithful, okay? Young people. Jesus is faithful. Jesus loves Muslims. He died for Muslims, he set Muslims free. What a great God we have. What a great God we serve. He loves the whole world. He loves you. God loves you. No matter your religion, God still loves you. No matter your religion, Jesus loves you. You know, it is very, very important that you be proud to claim him. Because he's faithful, because he's just. Our God is faithful God. I would not like to claim anyone that, that is not faithful. I would not like to, like to be part of him or her. I would not like to be part of a prophet that marries 12 wives and even a toddler. I wouldn't like to be part of that very person, that very prophet. Never would I like to be part of him. But it is good that the whole world wants to be part of Christ. And Christ has welcomed everybody. He opened his hand to welcome everybody to come in. He has set a day. If you don't come in, if you don't repent, a day is there for you to be judged, okay? Whether you like it or not. You're going to be judged one day. So God is great and great to be praised. Wonderful is the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be lifted up on high. Hello, young ladies. Jesus Christ loves you. Okay? He loves you. He died for your sins. 
All you need to do is just to confess him. Confess Jesus Christ before men. The Bible says, if you can confess with your lips the Lord Jesus Christ and believe that he died and rose again and that he's coming back again, you are saved. Salvation is very simple. Confess Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. Confess that he died to save you, to set you free. Confess that he's coming back again and you are saved. Jesus Christ is Lord. When you confess him, confession is possession. You confess Jesus Christ and then you have it. If you can confess with your lips, if you can confess Christ, Jesus, the Savior, if you can confess him with your lips and believe in your heart, because it got to do with your inward. Confession is not outward. Confession must come from within, from inside you. That's how to confess. That's how to serve God, okay? Jesus loves you too. You want to confess, you want to serve God, it must come from within you. It must be from inside out. You said you love God, it is from within you. Because God loves you from inside out. Young man, do you understand that? Yeah, God bless you, okay? Jesus Christ is love. So God loves you from inside out, from his heart. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hello, young people. You get the message, yeah? You get the message. You get the message, yeah? Jesus loves you. But you must, must be from inside out. Our God is a great God. Confession is meant to salvation. When you confess Christ Jesus, you will be saved. The Bible says, as many as receive him, he gives them power to become the children of God. He gives them power to become the sons and daughters of God. As many as receive him, he gives them the power, the power to become the sons and daughters of God. So when you receive Christ, when you receive Jesus, you have the power to become the sons and daughters of God. As many, no matter the walk of life, no matter wherever you come from, as many as receive him. No matter whether you are black or green or yellow or white, as many as receive him. No matter you are tall or short or fat or slim, as many, it's as many. He said, great God. Once you come, we take care of you. You come to God, we take care of you. Take care of your, your family. God is a faithful God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's God. He's God. He's God. There is no one that comes to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So as many that receive him, he give them power to become the sons and daughters of God. And once he said it, he'll do it. He believes it. Once he said it, he'll do it. He will not fail. God says, I am who I am, and he is whom he is. He can never fail us. He can never change. He never changes. He never fell. He remained forever the same. He remained God. God is God. And his name is Jesus. Jesus is God, young ladies. Jesus love you, okay? Die for your sins, set you free. Our God is faithful and just. Jesus Christ is God. Every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is God. Every knee must bow down. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is God. Whether you like it or not, you must bow down, you must confess that Jesus Christ is God. There's no two ways about it. It is your choice. Amen, brother. God bless you, sir. Amen. God bless you. Our God is faithful. So it should not be good for you. It's a good thing. It's a good choice. It's a good decision to decide to serve the living God because he will remain faithful to you even to the end. He will remain faithful. He will remain a just God. He will remain committed to his word. 
He will remain committed to his promises to you. He will remain committed to, to show you kindness. God is kind, everybody. Jesus Christ is God. Young man, do you know this smoking is not good? Do you understand that it's not good? Wonderful is the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross to save us, set us free. What a great God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. What a faithful and a just God we serve. What a good God we serve. His name is Jesus. His name is Savior. His name is the coming King. His name is the faithful God. He's a promise and a promise keeping God. He's a promise keeping God. He keeps his promises. From the foundation of the earth up to today, billions of years has come and gone. The promise of God is still yes and amen. The promise of God is still yeah, yeah, and amen, and amen. That's God's promises. He never fell. Sail is with us. Still with us. Giving us the sunshine, giving us everything. He loves us so much, he cares for us. Music. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He's great, and he's faithful to the end. Our God is good. He's still the Trinity, the three in one God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Still the Trinity, three in one God. He's still existing. The Trinity is still here with us. He never fell. Jesus Christ, he that see me have seen the Father. I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. I am the Father, and the Father is me. You understand that Jesus Christ is the Father. Glory be to God. He is the Father. He that have seen me have seen the Father. I am your Father. I am faithful to my word. My word is great. My word is wonderful. My word is awesome. Jesus Christ is God. It is three in one God. There is no, no mistake to that. There's no argument of whom, who, whom Jesus Christ is. If anybody is putting argument, is putting argument in a wrong way. You are wrong. If you are putting argument on who Jesus Christ is, you are wrong. Because Jesus Christ is God. He's faithful, he's just, and he's three in one God. Hello. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you, Mom. Our God is great. That is no argument. That the three is one. That is no argument. That God is faithful. God is a faithful God. God is a just God. God is kind. God is truthful. He's a wonderful God. Mom, Jesus loves you. Jesus care for you, okay? Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving. And the Lord. Power and mind. Be unto my God. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and the Lord. Power and might belong to my God forever and ever. Amen. Power and might belong to my Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and the Lord. Power of mine be unto my God forever and ever. Amen. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the highest. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Love you, young lady. Jesus died for our sins, okay? Our God is great. What is the lamb that was slain? And his name is Jesus. And his name is the Savior. And his name is the Redeemer. 
and his name is the comforter. God bless you, young man. Jesus Christ died for us. Died for our sins to save us. To set us free. It is something that is worthy. Worthy. Worthy for you to know that Jesus Christ died for the sinful world. And he died for us because of his faithfulness and because of his loving kindness. He died for us because he is faithful. Everything today is pointing at the faithfulness of God. Say, God, you are faithful. God, you are holy. God, you are righteous. God, you are good. God, you are great. God, you are strong. Hallelujah. Everything today is pointing at the faithfulness of God. God is a faithful and a just God. God is faithful. You must understand. He is a faithful God. He is a wonderful God. He is unchanging God. He is unfailable God. He never fell. Aha. Uh -huh. He never changes. His word is good. So today, brother, we are talking about the faithfulness of God. You have God yours here. God bless you. We are talking about the faithfulness and the loving kindness of God. And we say to every one of you today that you should understand, if you know, that God is faithful. And God never fell. And God never changed. And God never disappoints us. And God is always, and all the time, and all the moment, faithful. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. He's a faithful God. He's a wonderful God. He's a great I am. He's wonderful. He's a lifted higher. He's a great God. He's great. He's awesome. God is awesome God. God is very, very awesome. He's awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's a great God. Jesus Christ love you, everybody. Do you, do you know smoking is not good, bro? Smoking is not good. Kill. Jesus Christ is good. He never wants you to destroy the one that is made. Hmm? I want to eat. Jesus Christ is faithful. Jesus Christ is God. We have three in one God. There's no doubt about it. Amen. Amen. There's no doubt about it. If anybody doubts, that means you are lost. Doubting anything about the Trinity means you are lost, completely lost. Because Jesus Christ is God. And we have one God. We have one God. We have one, we have one Savior. God bless you, sir. We have one God. We have one Savior. We have one Jesus. We have one Holy Spirit. And this yeah, three is the one. The Trinity. Where's the translation? The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one God. There is no two gods. We have only one God. There must be only one that rules. And God rules. Heaven and earth. Jesus Christ is God. Glory be to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for our sins. His name is highly lifted up. The run up today. And our message is one thing, one message. Faithfulness of God. God is faithful to every one of us. To both the Jews and the Greek and the Gentiles. God is faithful. And we should go out. Go and tell this good news to everybody. But Jesus Christ loves us. And he is faithful to the end. God bless you all. Jesus loves you. Amen.